It's been months since the last upload. The views are down. We need another gimmick. You know, something that screams, I'm for the people. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe television. Maybe television will have the answers to my problem. Oh dear God, I think I got it. All right, so if we're gonna do this conservative gimmick, we're gonna need a formula. So what do conservative Americans love to hear? Fear mongering, that's good, that's good stuff, that's good stuff. Uh, conspiracy theory, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, a godlike, a godlike worship of Symbols. Yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. Oh, oh, how could I forget? How could I forget? Mwah, mwah. Blame the liberal media. This is perfect. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of One Pleasant Newscast, the only newscast that feeds real conservative news. My name is Kevin, and I will be your anchor for this evening. Now, I want to start off with breaking news that is just uh, just reached my hands as of this moment, it would appear that brown people are taking over. Now, I want to go to the phones where we have our field reporter, Tim, who is reporting on the situation. Tim? Actually, Kevin, I have no idea what you're talking about. Brown people are cool, man. Everyone here is cool and shit. Hell, wasn't you brown as fuck anyway? Now we go to other breaking developments. It would appear that Obama, our president, is Muslim. That's right, folks. He is as Muslim as they come. He will ride in on his magic carpet and destroy everything that Americans hold dear. Football, hot dogs, and hamburgers. And, of course, carry underwear. Now, I want to try this again. Let's go to our field reporter, Tim, to see what his thoughts are on the situation. Tim? Actually, Kevin, Obama is not a Muslim. Even so, who cares? Muslims are cool, man. They chilling and shit. Hell, you brown as fuck anyway. In other news, Colin Kaepernick, the quarterback for the 49ers, has continued his protest of the national anthem, thus enraging millions and millions of hardworking American families. I want to go to the phone to our analyst, Tim, who is sitting aside to give his thoughts on this outrageous act. Actually, Kevin, Colin Kaepernick is cool, man, exercising his First Amendment right and stuff. He chilling and shit. But real talk, I don't see why this is such a big deal. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. I mean, it's, pre it's pretty evident that the liberals are taking over our media. That, that should frighten you. Now, I'm going to tone it down, and I'm going to send you to our field reporters... Ken and Taylor standing aside at FamilyCon to show you just what American values are all about. They are sticking it to the liberal media. Hello and welcome to One Unpleasant Newscast, the only newscast you can enjoy wearing a skirt to. I'm Kendrick, or as most people would like to call me, Nico. Oh God, I'm ready to kill myself. What? I thought you said family con. True American values. What happened to that? They are at anime getaway. No, this is liberal hypocrisy is what it is. All right. So, I'm Kendrick from One Pleasant Podcast, and I have a question. Stop! I have a question for you. How does it feel to be a weave? Great. Great? Great. Fantastic? She accepted her. Everyone, she has accepted her fate as weave. 
there, my name is Taylor and this is Chad Thundercock. Today I'm at Anime Getaway and I get to ask who is your one true husband? Just Joe Stark. That was a very quick answer. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> person I've never met before, I have a question for you. Right. Who's your husband though? Um, <laughs> husband though. I'm gonna have to go with Ben from Mr. Cluster. He's fucking dead. Anyway, thank you for that answer and we're gonna send it over to Kevin right about now. Who's investigating little puppies? Also with a cool mask, or as you would call an improvised upgrade. And we are at Anime Getaway. Um, Jarvis, right? Jarvis. Jarvis, alright. What is it, what is it like to be a weed? To be a weed? What's it like indeed? To be honest, I just now started all this. It feels sort of like alright, but then again, to be honest, I'm all for anything that makes you look awesome. Pretty serious, basically. Basically. And you? You are indeed trash. Oh my god. Is there another person I have never met before? I have a question for you. And what is it? How do you feel about tentacle inside? Oh. It smells like a liberal conspiracy to me. Oh. oh. You do. You just oh love tentacles. You just love. Slither, 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 slither. <laughs> Eddie Roosevelt. You know I love me some of that tentacle sexy times. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us on One of Us Podcast, or a channel, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. I don't make this stuff up. I don't even write the script. Where's the script? We don't have a script. Anyway, and I'm glad you enjoyed our time. So, I'm Kendrick from One of Us Channel, and this is Taylor. And we'll be seeing you next time. Is this is this gimmick even get against anywhere? Like what what are what are the views now? Sixty nine. All right, that's not so bad. Um, what 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 is our typical audience now? This guy. Oh, f okay, okay. You know what? Scratch this. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start over. Um, in, a, in another few months. Let's let's wrap it up. Uh, I got I got I got pants this time. That's good. That's good. We're starting good. All right. Actually, Kevin, I think he was just straight up crazy. And you brown as fuck anyway. Whose child is this? Brown.